Alrighty, it's your boys the Yuxus, and we're back with another Black Clover Mobile Rise of the Wizard King video. Now, um, we do have some leaks here. Um, actually, I don't know if this was a leak, but um, I guess it was in the files, right, for a Yami. Now it's called God of Destruction Yami. This is what he looks like. Um, I assume this is going to be a seasonal. Um, well, I don't think this. I think this might just be a unit, right? Not a seasonal, actually. Like um. Because obviously, I think seasonals are going to come from like those manga panels or whatever those pictures are, where they actually are things. Like, I don't know if this Yami is from that. I don't know the lore about this Yami. But um, we do have his skills here, right? Um, very, very cool character. Uh, indeed, Yami is my favorite male character in... Um, well, he is my favorite character in all of Black Clover. Um, right? Obviously, Charlotte's up there too. That's why I said favorite male character. Um, but yeah, he is. It's literally him and Charlotte. So there's that. So uh, obviously, I'm quite excited for this guy. Obviously... Um, he's not in the game though. I mean, he's not gonna be on the game on release, so there's that. But when he does ever come out, uh, probably something. Um, he have his skills here, so we can just go over it. It's not really gonna matter much. I mean, I could tell you guys if it'll matter or not, right? I'm gonna compare to other units, right? So his skill one, double strike, strikes the enemy target with two swords, dealing damage. Obviously, we don't have the number of that damage. Um, the buff applies ignore defense and then attacks at, uh enemy target. So, um. He ignores defense. I don't know if it's a level one defense. In I, I don't know. What is that level? Because ignore defense, a lot of characters can do that, right? It depends on the level, right? They have level two, um, which is, I believe, for 50%. A level three is like 60%. And then a level one is like 40%, right? So um, as you see here, it says also applies attack increase level one. Um, and then magic attack increase level one for two turns upon launching a successful critical attack. Um, so that's very, very cool, right? Um, the fact that he gets himself a buff like that for just launching a critical hit is pretty nice. And here, there's a build set that you can actually give to him, um, that will increase his crit, right? Clearly, clearly he's not a character you want him to do damage, like, like hit hard with his crits. Um, you just definitely want him to crit. So when this guy actually does come into the game, obviously I'll make a video about all that stuff, um, because... He is going to have that build, right? I know exactly what set you're going to have to give him. I forgot what it was called, but I do know what set you're going to have to give him. So stay tuned for whenever this guy actually does drop. His second skill, Dark Cloaked Black Blade, confuses enemies with a flashy strike, dealing damage to all target enemies. Now, at first when I read this, I thought he actually stunned, but he doesn't. Um, I guess it's just like one of those things, um, like how it says here, strikes an enemy target with two swords. It doesn't mean he's actually going to confuse, right? Because that would be stun. And if he had an AoE stun, that would be broken, especially since, like, Mars has an AoE stun, but his is not guaranteed. It's either he stuns, I think it's a 50-50 from Mars, right? It's either he stuns or he taunts you, right? That's why he is so broken. But if this guy was to guarantee just AoE stun you, um, that would be broken, especially since there are characters in the game who actually could reset other people's, I believe there was a character in the game who could reset, um, other people's skill twos, or it's not a, a character, but it was a card effect. I think it, it might've been Williams. It might've been Williams card effect. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, but it was, it was definitely a card eff uh, effect. I remember, um, and then applied speed increased two to self for one turn upon defeating an enemy target. Now that's, um, very situational that's good obviously him being able to apply a uh, speed increase is great because he's going to hit hard right he's definitely going to be critting a lot he ignores defense all that stuff um so he is he is very good there um in terms of that the only problem is it's when he defeats an enemy now if it was whenever an enemy just gets defeated that would be 10 times better but that would be way too broken imagine he kept increasing his speed a level two speed increase by the way which would be 50 percent, i believe um, to himself for every enemy just defeated would be too much, right? So I think it's fair that it's only going to be him, I guess. Um, but obviously, I think, uh, you know, he's, I don't know. It depends on how much he's going to hit, right? We don't know exactly how hard he's going to hit. So they just take everything with a grain of salt, right? Um, a buff only activates when SSR skill used. Um, when SSR skill used. Um... SSR skilled used? Oh, so, okay. So, this part applies... Okay, it's only from his SSR card. Okay, that's what they meant. Um, and then applies defense reduction um, level 2 to an enemy target for 2 turns upon landing a critical attack. So, yeah. Yami is a character, like I said before, you want him to crit. Right? He's going to definitely hit hard because he's ignoring defense already. 
Um, right. Not to mention, he's gonna go like he's gonna be a he might be a problem again. It all comes down to his stats, all comes down to the multiplication, not multiplication, but like the numbers, um, that these skills are actually hitting, right? The stats, I think it's gonna be 103 for each, like probably this is gonna be 103. Um, the AoE is definitely gonna be like 105 max, it's not gonna be anything higher than that, I don't think. Um, because that'd be too much, right? But this is probably gonna be 103. If not, like highest I could think is 113, um, since it's a single target, but the AOE will probably be 105 max, probably 103. Um, attack, magic, and I guess, yeah, just attack, right? Dimension Slash um, is a special. Slash is an enemy target with enough power to divine, uh, divide the uh, dimension. He doesn't do all that, bro. I'm sorry. Um, dealing damage, <laughs> right? Um, so he deals. It's just the. It's, it's just his regular ultimate, right? I, I guess his ultimate won't change from the. Uh, no, he should have a different ultimate than the other ones, right? Because seasonal Asta, or I guess. Hmm. No, cause I don't know, cause there was never two SSR characters that were like two base SSR characters that were the same. Right, so I'm thinking about a SR Asta and an SSR Ya Asta. It makes sense that they have two different skills. But will every single SSR base SSR like character that is uh, already in the game will they all have the same ultimate? Because I think this ultimate is just the same as his other one, right? Ignores defense and then yeah, right. Applies ignore defense and attacks to an enemy. I think that's the same as the other Yami. So um, I guess this kind of confirms. Not it doesn't really because it's just one character, but it gives you more of a you know a mindset or a hint that. Any every SSR will, unless they're like a completely different unit, most SSRs that already have an SSR in the game will have the same ultimate, right? So keep that in mind. His joint skill. Um. Okay, wait. His joint skill. Let me read this. Okay, so applies incapacitate level one to an enemy target for two turns when they have an active attack increase buff. And has an X percent chance to stun the enemy target for one turn. Applies incapacitate level one, so 20% to an enemy target for two turns if they have an attack increase buff. Oh my god. Like that those joint skills are horrible. I'm sorry. Because that means they have to have an attack increase skill. It would be better if he had to have it and then he would apply it. But they must have an attack increase buff. Usually other characters, it's just a regular buff, but for it to be so specific like that is a ridiculous, right? Literally every other character in the game, again, this most likely will change, right? Keep that in mind. But it, I hope it does, because if it is only an attack increase buff, that is kind of bad on his joint skill. Because everybody else in the game who has something like that, it's not like a specific buff. It's just if they have a buff, then they get this. But for his to say if they have an attack increase buff is crazy, I think. Um, and then he has a, like, it should be like, if they have an attack, they should just be guaranteed, like a 100% chance to stun, right? If you're going to make it like that, then it should just be 100% chance. And then LR, so when you get into LR rarity, uh, rarity um, has the X percent chance to gain an extra turn upon landing, landing a successful crit with a skill, um, once per turn, right? Which is great. Um, so yeah, I think this guy is definitely going to be a great unit when he comes into the game. Again, it will depends on how hard he's going to hit, but he's definitely going to be great for solo bosses. Um, obviously, depending on how much the resistance and stuff is. Because um, if he doesn't crit bosses, I think he should be able to crit most bosses in the game. But if he doesn't crit bosses, then um, I don't want to say he's useless if he doesn't crit. But as you see, everything, he gets literally everything from critting, right? So um, it's kind of, he needs to crit to do something, actually. It's like... Uh, like, if you guys know Grand Cross, Blue Zeldris is the same thing as this. This is literally Blue Zeldris in the game. He needs to crit to do something, right? Um, then we already went over his SSR skills. So, I think this guy is going to be a fantastic unit. Um, especially since there are multiple ways you can get this guy to crit, right? Again, there's a set that you can give to him um, where he will basically not guarantee crit, but his crit chance will increase by a lot. Um right so obviously be ready for that not to mention you can just give crit rules on those skill uh those gear sets too right so um i think this yami is going to be an interesting character i think he's going to be very very cool and very very fun um right i think his design is great i love the design heavenly um but yeah he's definitely a character that's gonna have to uh crit so um overall 
just off of this, because again, anything could change. Just off of this, I would say he's probably an A tier unit. Um, right? He could go easily to B. It just depends on how much he can crit, right? Because if it's they literally he crits, he's good. He doesn't crit, he's like he's just okay, right? He's just gonna hit hard, right? Because I think all Yami characters in this game will hit hard, but it's literally he crits, he's great. He doesn't crit, he's not okay. Um, or even like he's just average, right? So he's literally highest I can see him being at is A because he's so situational. Um, there's no way you could put that guy in S if I had to give him a rating. But B is like if he like depending on how much he can crit, right? Um, but again, that is also bills based on your build for Yami. So I guess that doesn't matter. I'll just say overall I put him in A tier. So you guys let me know if you guys are excited for this God of Destruction Yami. If he does come to Black Clover, which he will, because he's right there. Um, but if you guys would summon on this guy when he does come out to the game, when the game releases, or whenever he drops in the game, he's not gonna drop on release. But whenever he drops in the game, are you guys gonna summon? And uh, let me know your thoughts on this guy. What tier would you put him in? And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Bears.